Hi, yesterday my channel was all about how to make an Indian pickle and how best to um, uh, make delicacies and all that. But then this morning I got up over my cup of coffee, I saw, I read the newspapers and I read about the bridge disaster. Man, it's very bad. Uh, people who have uh, just suffered for no reason, I feel so sorry. My heart goes out to those families. And even as I read the papers, there were some things that came to my mind, which I felt I must share with all of you. So um, it is that, you know, these are basic requirements I feel we should remember to do when we step out of our family. Because when we go somewhere, there is there are people behind us at home uh, who, who care for us, who are worried. So many times we have noticed that uh, uh, people leave home in a hurry and they forget to tell their family where they are going. S students especially are always in a hurry. They're talking on the phone and their priorities are quite different from those of parents and uh, they forget to tell their parents where they are. And in the event of such disasters, then you know the family goes helter-skelter. For all purposes, there are cases where family doesn't even know the person is there. So Point one, always remember to inform your family where you're going so that you know the family is aware where you are. And children, please, even if you have to go out with friends, make sure your parents are aware of it because that makes things easier. Point number two, you know, it's, it's always better to leave a message wherever we go that we've reached to someone who is close to us so they know that we are already there or we are not there. So that's very important for the family to know. Um, when you're going to work, please just drop a message that I've reached my workplace. Uh, when you're reached home and if you have to inform your boyfriend or your girlfriend, for example, you can always say that you've reached. This uh, saves a lot of tension. And um, why should the family know where you are? Because supposing there is a disaster, the family, you say you go to place A and you've gone to place B and that's where the fire disaster has happened. How does the family even know that you're there? Third point is that it's always better to carry credit and debit cards with you. But remember to have very little balance in your credit and debit card not you know too much just a basic minimum that would require for in case of a mishap or a disaster keep that much money and carry that card around because um, you know in such cases in case you lose your card then of course you can block it but it all takes time and you may lose a lot of money in the process so it's always better to be safer than sorry and uh, fourthly um, believe in god and um, just pray for those who have lost uh, their lives unwantedly in such mishaps. Our heart goes out to their families, uh, a deep condolence to them, um, a moment of reverence and uh, absolute uh, sadness because uh, they, put, they, they didn't even know what was awaiting them even as they were climbing the bridge. And uh, just pray to God before you leave home and may their souls rest in peace. And uh, I, with this, I would only request uh, all of you to follow these few points that I've shared with you. Tomorrow, I will come with some more points which will make it, uh, which we can share and we can, we can ensure that um, life can be really safer. Um, thank you very much and ta -da, see you tomorrow.